Hey, what's up everybody? Uh, it's kind of been a while since I gave away some setups, so just want to, I've had a lot of people ask me about a couple setups and stuff, and I figure I'd jump on here and we'll make some laps and uh, a couple different tracks and, and see what kind of laps we can make. We're in the Cup Series here today at uh, New Hampshire. Uh, had a had a couple people uh, messaging, wanting setups, and we're going to see if we can give it away today. So um, this is a race setup. It's very stable. Uh, just had a league race here. Uh, had, a, had, a, had a really good race going. Uh, didn't get to W. Had, had some other issues, but uh, it's very good. Very good on a long run. It does get just a tick loose a little bit on a long run, but it's not uncontrollable loose. Uh, you can still drive it. So uh, this setup is on times four wear. Uh, so we're going to give it a whirl and uh, see what we can get. Might take me a couple laps. Cause Be ready. Get after it now. Get track, after it now. You're clear. One thing about this setup, it kind of fires off uh, six sevens. And then after a after a couple laps, I could run fives. If I really push it, I could run fours. Um, but uh, hopefully it works for you. Hopefully we make some good laps for you and you can use it. Just takes a minute just to get the get the tires warmed up. And once it gets warmed up, that was a three great lap. Out, well, there was a four there, and it'll start to turn in a little bit better. It's just the tires are a little cold right now. We'll just see what kind of laps we can make. It's consistent. You know, later in the run, I let the car run a little deeper in where I don't hit that little apron there, that little uneven pavement. I do use a lot of heavy braking here. So I'll just kind of let the car roll in a little bit, let it rotate and then get back in. You know, if you want to avoid that, you know, late in the race, if you want to avoid that little hump there, just let the car roll in a little bit more. When the tires are pretty fresh, you can you can get up on that hump. right there you can still get up on that hump and everything and not have to worry about spinning you know late in the race just drive it a little deeper kind of like what I'm doing there just let it roll in a little bit further and then get back in where you can avoid that hump there you should be good like I said it's really stable if you have to, you can click the wedge up to like 53, 50, 51, 3, 51, 4. Uh, I've actually ran a low 2 with this car, but I toned it down just for a race. Um, just depends on how you want it. You know, if you want to drive a loose car, I like mine a little snug for a long run. You kind of see it kind of kicked a little bit right there on the back end. That's because I got a little bit too far up on that hump. Just let the car roll in a little. Bit. 
All right, let's see. So we kind of fired off at a, I wasn't really paying no attention to the times or anything, but four, five, six, seven, seven. It'll probably drop back in the sixes, uh, sevens. Fires off at round fours and fives, and I end up around O's and ones. So, um, yeah, it's pretty good. So, kind of hope it works for you. Um, like I said, if you wanted to go a little faster on the short run, just bump the camber up a little bit, right front camber up a little bit, and uh, just drop the wedge a little bit, and should get you to where you need to be. Thanks for tuning in. Till next time.